Hey there, if you're looking for an alternative camera application for your Android, this video reviews best camera apps in 2021. If smartphones are regarded as one of the major sources of distraction, then learning how to use your smartphone productively is very important. And on this channel, we teach everything about smartphone productivity and profitability. And if this is the kind of video you want to keep receiving, hit the subscribe button down below. And to get notified when I release a fresh video, hit the bell icon and you will be first to know when I drop a fresh video. My name is Frederick. Keep watching. Let's start with the popular Google camera, which happens to be one of the best camera applications for Android. It is actually the stock application for Google Pixels, but also available for other Androids. Now, if you look at the camera, you can see, you can tilt the brightness of the camera, the exposure, and also the zoom. The zoom rate actually depends on your phone. My phone can go beyond 8x, so it actually reaches the limit of my phone. So it also offers the night sight camera and also portraits can also go portrait also can also be used for video then when you go to the more features of this application you can see panorama you can see photo square and also if you want to shoot a slow-mo or time-lapse video you can also do that this camera application is i would say it's minimalistic just go straight to do what it's meant for then in the settings you can turn on the flash you can use the google avb and um, the motion also the timer you can set up a timer of when you want it to shot maybe if you're shooting yourself i do normally use this application sometimes for my youtube videos it's an awesome application i've been there and still remains one of the best you should try out and the link to download is on the description this application or camera application happens to be my very favorite you know it's an open source camera called open camera and I use this more often when shooting my YouTube videos of course and it offers several things like the exposure and then the features um, you can see in the focus you can focus macro you can focus auto focus and other things it allows you to do then in the picture quality of this camera it's actually really great and it can also auto focus the image when shot it takes the, the pictures three times just to get the best quality of the image you captured so you can see on the white balance the camera resolution and the scene mood can be moved from incandescent to um, fluorescent or depending or daylight depending on the scene you might want to use and also depending on the time of the day of course so this application is actually worth the try if not used it before it's really offers some um professional setups like when you come to the settings here you will see that you can it offers a whole lot and even the video um, settings can also offer the stabilization which is one of the features I consider really cool with open camera it's actually open for editing that is why it's an open source camera So you can see the video stabilization here and also different formats it can go a very high bit rate film rate of course it depends on the quality of your phone's camera though so this camera is really awesome and if you've not tried it before you might want to use the download link on my description to get this camera and try it out it's really worth the try Another really awesome camera alternative here is Picnic. So Picnic is one of the coolest applications when it comes to auto filtering or auto editing of your picture. It offers different scenes that you can choose from. You know, Picnic is much more suitable when you are going to be capturing the sky of the picture, right? So for instance, I'm, I'm just actually trying this out on this flower right but when we go 
to the sky when we switch to the sky you see that it can actually change the color of the sky and also brings out the beauty of the sky so picnic is actually a very cool application that you should try out or in fact you should actually have and it only offers the photography feature or photography function it can be used to video for video recording so if you're going to the beach or you're going for to some cool events where you want to capture the sky then picnic should be your best choice especially for selfies or just some random beach pictures or thereabout so picnic will be the best choice for that Well, unlike the other applications that we have been reviewing, this is actually the only one that has lots of ads, alright? So if you want to stop the ads actually from popping up, you would have to go pro, okay? So this application, this camera application is called Myers HD Camera. So this is the default camera application on my Xiaomi Mi 10. So if you have the phone, you might not need to download this any longer, but this application application is really awesome and also offers a whole lot of professional features it can be used both for video recording and also for photography so if you look at the screen you can actually auto edit your pictures you know offer some presets that you can auto edit your picture while you are still taking the picture so unlike the other applications we've reviewed like i said this is the only one that contains ads open camera google camera picnic and the next one does not contain ads all right so yeah, maybe just because of maybe the many features that this actually offers so you might want to go pro if you don't like to be interrupted by ads during your video recording or while taking a picture so in the pro features you can see a whole lot of features like timer like the vanet and uh, you know the blur features and a whole lot of functions or features that this camera actually offers you it also has a whole lot of preset fit filters you might want to choose from while taking your camera so this picture this camera application is really awesome in the camera settings you can see the picture quality of the rear the front and other features like zoom lens um, review pictures before saving the face detection the focus and shoot and other certain setups that you can um, this camera application offers you then like i said when you come to this point you will see the preset filters that you can choose from just like you were doing on your picnic right so this also offers you same functions or same features like picnic so if you want to it's actually an application i would say it's worth the try you can try it out if you like it you can go pro with it or not if you or you can choose from any other application of your choice but i would also recommend this camera application If you'd want to try out some 3D pictures of yourself or friends and family, then Fuse is the camera application of choice. It actually offers a whole lot of cool stuff you can do with your camera, right? Like the 3D feature that is on Facebook. If you want to also try out stuff like that just to keep on your phone, then Fuse is the camera application that you should think of. I, I, I'm going to show you some examples here. It just it is a simple application, minimalistic, goes straight to the function, to and also offers some feature to socialize with other Fuse users. So these are some of the pictures taken with Fuse.